Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. There are two properties when we're talking about circles that are easily confused. Arc length versus arc measure. To compare arc length and arc measure, let's look at some concentric circles. Let's say I drew in two radii in the smaller circle, and I called that intercepted arc, arc A. Let's say I extended those radii all the way out to the larger circle, and I'm gonna call that arc B. So again, we're trying to compare arc measure with arc length. And I see that since it has the same central angle, since arc A and arc B have the same central angle, I could say that the measure, the arc measure of A, is equal to the arc measure of B. But if we look at the distance between the intercepted arc's endpoints, we can see pretty clearly that the length, L-E-N-G-T-H, of arc A is definitely smaller than the length of B. So it is possible for two arcs to have the same measure but different lengths. Arc length is the fraction of a circle's circumference. So if we looked at a circle over here where I've drawn a right angle, and I said, what is the distance between x, y? If we know the whole circle has a circumference of c, where c is some circumference, we know that the fraction here, it's pretty clear, is just going to be a fourth of that because 90 degrees is one-fourth of the circle. So if a circle is 360, 90 is one-fourth. So the way that we calculate arc length is if I have some circle with an arc, AB, the length of that is the circumference of the whole circle times the fraction of the circle. So this part right here tells you, if you know measure of arc AB, just write it over 360 and that'll tell you how much of the circle are you using. So for C, you could either substitute 2 pi r, because that circumference in terms of radius is equal to the measure of arc AB out of 360. Or if you wanted to, you could also use pi times diameter times measure of arc AB out of 360. So the key thing here is that arc length is a fraction of the circle circumference. So we're talking about a distance, which is why you can have the same arc measure, but different arc lengths. And by two, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. Work it, work it. So if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> that should be less than. Yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>